there may be people who watch my channel who you hear that that's buns did y'all hear her cough and fart at the same time Jam motherfucking day today I hope you're doing well this is my social media please find me on any of those platforms and follow me there and we can have fun laughing together that's what I like to do so today guys this story I was reminded of this story when I was having a discussion on Facebook somehow we were talking about um, how do I put this um, things that girls put up with as students that they shouldn't have to be putting up with. It's just a long story, so I will jump right into it. It's just amazing to me things that I remember that happened throughout my life. I think any, I'm gonna take a stab, I'm just gonna take a little gander, and uh, just a guess that most females can name a time or multiple times that they were either sexually harassed, sexually assaulted, it's tough being a girl. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't happen to guys because it does. They say one in six men has been or will be the victim of sexual assault and it's one in three for females. I have a playlist that I will list down below the times that I have talked about rape and sexual assault. I am a survivor of sexual assault and I do work with victims and and survivors of sexual assault. This is just a story that I guess I blocked it out. I didn't block it out, but I haven't thought about it in a long time. I'm just gonna jump right into it. Um, I know that there are people who went to school with me who probably would hear this story and say, mm, why are you telling that story? Because that man has passed away or that was a good person who just said some shitty things and did some shitty things. But I think it's uh, an important story to tell because maybe if there are any kids out there, hopefully this type of thing doesn't openly happen like this in schools, but some of the stuff I hear I just don't know. So there was this teacher and let's just, he taught gym, okay? He was a combination of a gym teacher slash driver's ed teacher. And he was fucking terrifying. I'll just call him Mr. Gilbert. I just looked over here, there's an Elizabeth Gilbert book there, okay? Mr. Gilbert. He was terrifying. Like you would hear, you would hear horror stories about Mr. Gilbert and his class before you were old enough to take that class. So then by the time you got in the class, you were already scared enough. This man, like when we had health class, he didn't really teach anything. He just kind of sat at his desk and we kind of read. He would just pick people to read things out of the book. He didn't really teach anything. And then when he did say things, they were just completely like inappropriate. It's like he was trying to be funny all the time, but the way that he was funny was to be inappropriate like if we had health class you know part of health class is learning about your body and he would just make inappropriate statements or mean statements to elicit a response from the class now i remember that one day one of my friends told me that when they were in the gym portion of class that she was doing sit-ups and somebody was holding her feet and he said something like yeah look at them titties bounce or something like that because she she told me this and I was just like oh that's disgusting but I really like I guess as a female and also as a child I just thought okay well that was gross but whatever you know it didn't happen to me or that's just how adults talk to you sometimes I don't know I don't know what I was thinking it started getting bad when it became time for us to get our six week grades. You know, you would get like midterm grades, six week grades. I don't remember exactly how it went, but we would get a report card about every six weeks. And I remember that in his health class, we had literally done no work. He didn't teach and we didn't submit any work that I know of. The only work I remember that he wanted us to submit was you got extra points if you found articles about wrecks, like car wrecks. If you brought those to class, then you got extra points. That was the only way I remember getting any grades in his class. And then PE participation. It was just a literal hell. I hated that class. I hated that time frame of every day. It was the last class of my day I remember because he was forcing us to run laps around the gym and the bell rang that it was the end of the school day and it was time to go get on buses. And I remember that he was like, where are you going? Where are you going? Cause you know, he wanted us to keep running 
but I was like, I'm going to miss my bus. I have to change clothes because I'm in gym class and I'm going to miss my bus. And I remember he like gave me an F that day. And there was one day that I had sprained my shoulder somehow and my mom had written a letter that she didn't want me to participate in gym class and I remember that he gave me an F that day. So I felt that he was just really arbitrary and capricious the way that he would those are big words look them up <laughs> that's your word of the day words of the day um basically he, it was just like he flew by the seat of his pants he would just give you an f or he would just ridicule you or say completely inappropriate things and i wasn't like a straight a student in high school but i knew enough not to get an f in a class or i would get in trouble at home and rightfully so i think more parents should be that way with their kids. You need to be going to school and doing what you're supposed to be doing. And I knew that if I got an F in that class, I would not, it would not be a good thing at home. I mean, not that I would get the shit beat out of me, but I'd probably get, you know, grounded or something. And it wouldn't have been my fault because this man was just willy nilly giving out grades like he wanted to. I started getting anxious about it because it was getting near time for re report cards. And someone reminded him in class, hey, we have report cards coming. And he's like, that's right. I, and I'll never forget this day. I'm sitting in class and he's sitting at his desk and he calls one of the pretty girls in the class up to the desk and he's like here i'm gonna call out grades you write them in the uh you write them in the grade book and so she's sitting up there at the desk and she starts calling out names and as she's calling out names he is arbitrarily assigning grades to people i remember this like it was yesterday she would call out a guy's name and he'd be like does i give him a c because he'd be doing good in basketball, you know, and then she would like call out a pretty girl's name and he'd be like, go and give her an A because she'd be wearing them short skirts. And um, then they would, maybe he, she would call out the name of a not so pretty girl and he'd be like, eh, just give her a B. But when he got to my name, I feel like he gave me a C or a D. I knew it wasn't a high grade and he was just something like, because she quit running them laps that day just because the bell rang. And I was like, this motherfucker, no he the fuck did not. First of all, he's just assigning grades arbitrarily. And even my young mind knew that it was inappropriate for him to say, give her an A because she's wearing short skirts to school. And then I remembered him talking about the girl's titties bouncing while she was doing sit-ups. And I just was like, I can't take this shit anymore. But my mind was not developed enough for me to know that it was completely just not okay. And I my I was about 16 15 because I had not taken driver's ed yet I'm having a hard time explaining it because I knew it was wrong but I had not told my parents or anything because I just accepted that it was okay this man was an authority figure over me and so he could talk to us however he chose you know that's that's how I felt or that's what I believed so I remember going home and telling my mom, I think I'm going to fail gym and health class. And she was like, okay, what? How would you fail gym and health class, Jennifer? You know, and so I'm like, okay, well, this is just what's going on. So I proceed to tell her. And as I'm telling her this, I know it's not a good story, but I can just see the horror on her face. Like, I mean, it was just shock. She was like, what in the royal fuck is going on in that classroom? And I'm like... Just so happens my mom was the school nurse. And I remember she was just like, oh, oh, no, hell no. We're going to have a come to Jesus. So I remember she called this man at home. And I remember her just yelling in the phone. And I could tell from her end of the conversation that he was denying everything she was saying to him. And I remember her saying, and, and the only way, like, these kids get grades is to cut out articles about car wrecks? Like, what are you doing? You're supposed to be teaching these kids. And so she was like, that's okay. We're going to have a meeting. You, me, and the principal are going to have a meeting. And she hung up. I just remember the morning that she was supposed to go to the meeting. And I remember that she was sitting on the couch and she was crying like very hard. And my dad was like standing next to her, patting her back, telling her it's going to be okay. I'm going with you, blah, blah, blah. And I remember her saying to me, Jennifer, if you are lying to me about this, I am going to beat your ass or something like that. I don't remember. Spank you, ground you, something. And my parents did not beat me, okay? But she was, I remember her telling me basically, if you're lying to me, you're going to be in big, big trouble. And I remember standing there and just saying to her, like, I'm not lying to you. Like, why would I make this up? She went to the meeting. Long story short, I was taken out of his class. I was put in another coach's 
health and gym class who basically berated me for being afraid of Mr. Gilbert and I ended up having to take driver's ed through a private company instead of doing it at school. I remember a lot of the kids like looked down on me and stuff and like called me all sorts of shit you know basically a coward, tattletale snitch, blah blah blah. I felt real bad about it like I had always done something wrong like people I still I still hear and see people like on Facebook bring up this man and tell stories like it was so funny like stuff was so funny but it wasn't funny to me it's not funny when you are on the receiving end of some sort of inappropriateness that like it's arbitrary and that's a lot of the way now this man never touched me never said any of those nasty things to me but he said them in front of me and my friends would tell me things he said people always think that when you're sexually assaulted that it's some rapist in the bushes jumping out and getting you and most of the time it's somebody you know most of the time it's somebody you're in a relationship with and a lot of the time authority figures will do these types of things now i'm not saying he did it that's not what i'm saying i'm saying he was inappropriate the way he spoke to us that's it but he could get away with that because we saw him as an authority figure um, an authority figure can be anything like a boss, a teacher, a coach. It's just sad the things that people get away with doing and saying to people who feel that they don't have recourse. Now, luckily, my mother had, and father had taught me to speak up and say something when something was inappropriate. But even then, I didn't speak up until I thought I was going to fail that class. And therefore, I thought I was going to get in trouble at home. And failing that class would not have been my fault. So there's no real nice way to wrap this story up. That's just something that happened to me when I was in high school. And I can guarantee you there will be people from here that watch this video and know who I'm talking about and think that I'm a piece of shit or that I'm wrong for bringing it up. But hopefully some of my younger viewers can get something from this and hopefully some of you who have kids at school maybe you can open up a conversation and have a dialogue with your kids about what's appropriate what's not and what is an authority figure and what can they do and say and what is good and what is bad so anyway hopefully this video helped i would like to think that it did so please give this video a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you have thank you so much Please make sure you click the little bell icon down below so it will tell you every time I put up a new video. I do videos on Tuesdays and Saturdays and I also have a vlog channel that I try to vlog on Monday through Friday so I will list that down below. Hope you all have a great day. Go out, be kind, speak your truth, don't take shit from anybody and come back and see me next time. I love you. Bye! Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs>